below. So this was actually inspiration from Superlab's video he made around three weeks ago of the top five hardest rank 35s to get into a show. So we're going to be talking about the top five artists. Let's get to number five. Number five is Jesse. Basically, the thing about Jesse's tire is because it stands still, wherever you put it, it's dawn to break and it's dawn to not get as much value. The thing about Nita is Nita can get a little bit more control. And I think some someone in NA got rank 35 Nita, which is pretty incredible. But basically, the thing about Jesse is it's incredibly difficult. She doesn't do that much damage. Her super her attacks aren't that good. And her she's just overall not that amazing. She's a very control base brawler in a specific spot you put that turret down you heal up that turret that turret's not going down that's in one spot and really if enough people want to kill you they will the thing about slow shine is it's a community game mode if people it's not like threes where you have three pro players and they just push every single ball and they go for beast mode the thing about soys is a lot of time if somebody wants you dead then they'll team up against you looks like it's this pain from earlier i don't know why his pain isn't attacking me but okay that was a free kill but this pain was just standing there Alrighty, next on the list is Bali, Edgar, Buzz, Fang, Bull, Primo, Surge, Eve. I just named a few brawlers that can kill Bali with zero effort needed, with zero IQ needed, with no effort at all. Just their mechanics you can die from. He is such a a bad brawl up for solos and it is embarrassing how bad Bali is for solos and the reason is just because he is super is useless his attacks are useless he's just so bad the only thing the only thing that he has is his first star power the healing is so strong in soys allowing you to survive even in such tricky situations you can take as much damage as you want but if you just do more if you just use ammo you'll heal 400 per ammo which is a lot so that is the only reason why he's not like a number one because it's actually pretty decent but looks like we're gonna go down here. See, look, I'm healing up. I'm healing. I'm chilling. I mean, this is 500 trophy circuit. Bell is number three, and Bell is actually so bad. She's half decent, but like, the problem is she has no DPS. Her super. Come on, you, you target one person. One person. That's doing nothing. Okay, so her super's useless. Okay, so her main attacks are useless. Okay, so what else? Her gadget, the slow. Dude, this is not, just no, no. It's just not good, okay? And her HP is so bad. Her ammo reload is so bad. Overall, she's so bad. Now, the one thing she has is far range. So, I'm just painting a picture here. Say Showdown Plus comes back and say you have a level 11 and say you're playing on Dark Passage. Okay, you might be able to grind her rank 35. Yes, it will be difficult, but out of all those circumstances, out of all the maps, that's probably your only bet to grinding her. Just that one map, that one game mode, that one everything. This is the only way you can grind her and also just remember one thing. Uh, I said just imagine solo plus is a thing. It's not a thing. So yeah, that does not count. I'm just saying this is the only way. There is no other method. Now you may think, oh, what if you just get into some games and be really good? No, that's not how it goes. Okay, when everybody's teaming up and they see a Bella, they're going to kill you straight away. Number two is my man Tick. I love this fella, but he's not good in solos. Okay, this is just great. We got like the best spawn for Tick. Oh my goodness, Supercell. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't believe you got this spawn. The spawn where you have to be in the bush. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so Tick, I don't need to explain anything. Uh, the only thing I need to explain is why is he not number one? Well, you'll see that in a sec. But I just want to say, if you've come this far into the video, clearly you're enjoying it. Well, I think you're enjoying it. I mean, it's possible that you're not enjoying this video and I don't know, just there's a very high chance you're enjoying this video, okay? Uh, you know, if, if you can, you know, if you want to, uh, you know, if you're interested, you know, consider subscribing. It helps our channel 
a decent amount you know it's a uh, very very helpful very cool um yes it's it does go a long way it is very cool but yeah anyways let's see if we can kill this shelly here with his bar at least one of these people but it looks like we have our super here, so that's going to be really useful. I wonder if this Shelly's going to use their super against me. Like, imagine a Shelly dedicating their super purely to a tick. That'd be kind of funny, not going to lie. But anyways, it looks like the... Uh, looks like we've got three people teaming up on a tick. Um, yeah, I don't really need to explain much on why tick is bad for solos. He just is. Uh, yeah, not... I don't need to explain a lot. But now that we don't have our super, we're extremely vulnerable. So, yeah, we're just going to... We're just going to run here. Uh, I would actually like to see if this anyone's gonna dedicate like their materials to kill me like their super or anything so it'd be kind of funny if they do i mean they can just get it back considering they're teaming and they could just charge their supers off of each other <gasps> no way dude we might actually oh my goodness dude if we get first let's go op oh shelly shelly stop wasting your resources go for the jackie that's a wasted opportunity unless oh yeah never mind <laughs> never mind there i was thinking <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, anyway, so, uh, yeah, number one is Poco. He's he's pretty bad for solos. When you see Poco and Soisha, what is the first thing you think? Just think, you, you, you're going by a day and you see a Poco and Soisha. What's the first thing that you think? If you said run at him and get your super, you would be in a very high majority. That is mostly what people think when they see a, a Poco. That's like the first mentality. You get your charge. Poco is known for being incredibly pathetic, incredibly weak, incredibly bad for solo showdown and there's a big reason towards why because he doesn't do damage he doesn't do any damage thus resulting in him being pathetic he can't do anything to defend himself he's the worst brawler to push rank 35 in source doesn't mean he's the worst brawler in general just the worst to push rank 35 in source and here's a few honorable mentions ap is incredibly difficult to push and the reason is because when people see ap they see him as slow bulky and just free charge penny is also really difficult because because Penny is Penny. Let's be real, she has like nothing going for her. Sprout is quite vulnerable. However, if you're playing correctly, you probably could get some good games, but I don't think you'll just I don't think you'll be pushing rank 35 Sprout soon in solos. I've only ever seen one person get above 1200 with Sandy. Sandy's incredibly difficult. He is possible, just incredibly difficult. Byron is pretty much impossible. He was quite doable in Showdown Plus, but Showdown Plus isn't a thing anymore, so he's quite difficult. B is quite a struggle. She used to be absolutely amazing Soys, but she had her time and it's not now. Crow is incredibly difficult to push as well inside of Soys Showdown, purely because nobody really likes Crow, so everybody gets Crow dead. And also, he's just not that good, and also, he just doesn't have that much DPS or survival. Bo is quite doable, but he's very reliant on maps, so if the maps ever change, he just becomes from one of the best brawls to one of the worst brawls for that map. Edgar is really difficult because he's not really the short range brawls that people want to team with. A lot of time, people want to team with like Primo, Jackie, or like Buzz. Nobody really likes Edgar, so nobody really teams with him. Amber just does not have the DPS to survive against Fang, Eve, Primo, Bull, Stu, Shelly. Overall, she's pretty weak. But that is going to do it for today's video. If you did enjoy or if you do agree, let me know in the comments. If you don't agree, just let me know. I would like to hear your tier list as well because everybody's experience is different. Some people have different experiences, thus resulting in them having different conclusions. So that's going to do it for today's video. Have a good one.